Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are taking on the legendary Goku event to show off the uh, power of Gogeta once again. Uh, this time we are actually going to show him off on the fusion team because we haven't done that yet and uh, you know as one of the best units in the game he is essentially the best unit on the fusion team. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. And it was quite cool, actually, when I was putting this team together, like how different the fusion team is nowadays. Because obviously we've got units like the Transforming Gotenks. Uh, half to his EZA, the Gotenks and Ghost, is actually really, really good as well. Um, and as you can see, I'm bringing a friend Gogeta, because um, I think mine only has one dupe. This is a rainbow full level 10 links friend. Um, so obviously he's going to be very, very powerful as well. So as you can see, my Gogeta, it's, uh, I'm at that pain point now where there's only like two links to go to 10 and I've done multiple runs on the uh, 23-8 without getting those uh, links go up so hopefully that will be done soon um, and if it's not going to be up today because uh, I would probably put it up after this video if it was but if it's not going to be up today hopefully the level 10 links video for him is going to be done tomorrow but there you go starting off strong straight away double super attack Obviously, these first few uh, stages aren't going to be much to worry about here. Um, in fact, one strategy that I kind of like to do on uh, legendary Goku event runs nowadays is... Obviously, really, what we all want to see is how, uh, how good he is when we get closer to the end. So, I use uh, one of these and get a little bit of extra attack for a few turns. Makes it a little bit easier to get through um, the first few stages like a lot quicker. So I'll go ahead and do this. Um, I was going to say, as long as we don't get super attacked in slot one, <laughs> then Gogeta is perfectly fine there. So of course that had to happen. But 3.1 attack stat for him. Um, obviously we should. I need to float off the uh, blue Gogeta and get them together. Also the AGL Gogeta because neither of them are blue yet. And then I guess we'll probably run Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta alongside the Gotenks, maybe? Because obviously we will get to see Gotenks transform all the way up to uh, Super Saiyan 3. Uh, but even before he picks up over in a flash, he does at least have Fused Fighter with um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And obviously Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta gives himself extra key for the first few turns as well. So not going to have much trouble super attacking with uh, this team. It's one of the beauties of uh, obviously everyone on the team having fused fighter. The only difference being of course the physical Goku and Vegeta. Um, so we'll probably keep them as like float units until uh, hopefully we can get them on rotation at like the right time I guess for them to uh, potentially transform if we drop below 50% HP. But I mean the team has over 500,000 HP. Uh, very, very strong units. I mean, 3.6 is his attack stat linked with that Gotenks, who uh, is by no means his best link partner. But he does share quite a few of the links that are actually at 10, which is good. And then we get the additional super attack again. Obviously, I think the uh, the Bulma item is still in effect on this turn. But yeah, look at that. Gogeta just uh, rolling up. And uh, yeah, goodbye, Goku. <laughs> so STR... Gogeta going to transform here. Um, next turn. Actually, yeah, by the time we get the AGL Gogeta back around onto this rotation, uh, he should be ready to go blue as well. But fortunately, the uh, three-year LR gets extra key with the rainbow orb, so we can do that. And then we'll grab those for you. And then the physical Super Saiyan Gotenks. Uh, he's not a unit that I've used for a while, but after his EZA, um, he did become a lot better. Um, each time he performs a super attack, uh, he does get extra defense up to 120. So obviously once he's maxed out his defense uh, from his passive, he can be pretty solid. Because that on top of easy A stats, um, his defense does get to a, re a reasonably good level. So physical, Gogeta at 4 million attack stat here. Um, if the friend Gogeta can come through with the crit, because we're getting the uh, 18 key super, because he gives himself that little bit of extra key when he attacks. If we can come through with the crit here, we could be, uh, ooh, it would have been close. I was going to say, we could have been uh, GG with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And look at that, two additional normals, and he survives with the tiniest sliver of health. In a way, that's good, though, because we want this uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks to super attack uh, as many times as he can as quickly as possible. So we max out his passive, so that is actually pretty good. Um, and we still have Gogeta's passive active, and uh, yeah, we're against another... 
another tech. Not that it matters because obviously we get the uh, super effective against all types. But yeah, we can grab. I don't like the fact that, yeah, I wanted all those. I was just thinking in my head, all I was looking at was all those rainbow orbs because the int ones were there. It prioritized picking those up because Gotenks and Ghost is an int unit. So probably could have clicked that a little bit better just to get a bit of free healing. But, I mean, we are kind of steamrolling through this. The only real damage that we've taken is from the STR Gogeta taking that super attack right at the beginning. And slowly but surely, by picking up the same type orbs, we've just been getting all of that health back. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get super attacked here on the Gotenks. He'll take a fair bit from this, but 50k, I mean... I'll take that. <laughs> and slowly but surely, that's the good thing about the team being so tanky, is slowly but surely, if we are getting chipped away at with some super attacks, it does make it a little bit easier for us to then actually hit that 50% HP uh, threshold. Because obviously we are now on turn 6. So anytime that we uh, can drop below 50% HP now, we are going to get the fusion with the 3-year um, LR. So go ahead and do this get some extra key from those rainbows for you obviously uh, AGL Gogeta now in blue form has a 50% chance to dodge so right up until Int UI Goku he's going to be super good defensively once we get to Int UI Goku and uh, our dodge is disabled then obviously we got to be a bit more careful um, and of course he does get guaranteed crits in the transformed state as well so does this take him out oh not quite so he doesn't get a dodge. 26, that's not too bad. And 5.7. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure the Bulma IM is, has run out at this point. Um, so this is the power of the Rainbow Level 10 Lynx uh, STR Gogia. Potentially would have got a, at least one additional super attack there as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so we will grab these. Fortunately, because we've got, um, we're onto a fresh stage now, so he should easily be able to survive up until the physical go tanks, which means he'll get a chance to raise his defense again. Uh, Gogeta, even pre supering, taking double digit damage here, that's what we like to see. And then a 3 million attack stat from him. I just can't get over how good this Gogeta is. Like, he's so ridiculously broken. <laughs> he's just too good. But. <laughs> Super Saiyan Gotenks is actually really good as well. Um, obviously, in this event, we can't stun. But in Super Saiyan 1 form, he does have a 70% chance to stun, which obviously is incredibly good. Um, he's so good in Super Battle Road. But he's still very strong here. And we get the additional super from this Super Saiyan Gotenks as well. So I think that's super attack number 4 for him. So uh, him taking 20k is good. Uh... Let's see. What turn? He's not going to die from this. Do we have Goji? Okay, we have them on the next turn. Okay. So basically, we just need to not die this turn and we'll be good for the transformation. So I don't want to heal up too much. So we'll do this. We'll get a bunch of orbs for you. And then I do want to heal up a little bit because if... Uh, if the AGL Gogeta doesn't dodge any hits, we could take a fair bit of damage, but he should be okay. Even if he takes one or two normal attacks, we're not going to die. And yeah, he's at a 3.1 million attack stat himself. So bear in mind, of course, this is him with... Uh, he's basically with his best link partner by being with the uh, LR. Because um, obviously, I mean, you can see there his attack stat's slightly higher than the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from the previous turn. But yeah, we've got him in his ideal condition. Um, and of course, my AGL Gogeta is rainbow, whereas my S Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is only two dupes. So, uh, there we go. We get the additional from you. So now we should have physical uh, Gogeta in slot 3 on the next turn. So we're going to get the fusion and uh, get a full heal. Yeah, let's go. Alright. So, now the team is uh, fully fused fires, because we've actually transformed into the physical Gogeta. So that's what we like to see. In fact, I wonder how well they link up overall. Because obviously Gogeta doesn't have Kamehameha because he does the uh, Big Bang, right? So, Oh, he does have it. Oh, yeah, because it's the Big Bang Kamehameha. Of course it is. Um, yeah, I wonder if his li he links better with Gogeta then. So that gives him Super Saiyan Fused Fighter Fist Battle. And then Kamehameha will obviously activate once they... Uh... Yeah, so technically he is better. Although, let's go ahead and transform in Gotenks, actually, and see what he can do. The 
Grim Reaper of Justice. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so... Yeah, see, now we're getting over in a flash as well, which uh, is a good one to have active. I guess we probably do want to keep um, the Int Gogeta, uh, sorry, the uh, physical Gogeta floated off for now because he does have type disadvantage. So we'll go ahead and do this. Um, we'll save the active skill from Gogeta until we get to the Int phase. But yeah, we'll go ahead and activate this as well. So now Kamehameha is active. Get super attacked in slot one. Okay, this will probably do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that did some damage, all right. But yeah, this Gotenks, almost at a 3 million attack stat. My Gotenks has no dupes. So, 55%. He is fairly link leveled as well, um, but not at 10. I think most of his links are at like 7, uh, 7 or 8. Of course, he dodges Gogeta. <laughs> but we still supered, so we got the defense raise. So, we're not taking any damage. And then 2.5... Oh, no crit, so we don't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. We are getting the Dokon attack next turn, though, which is good. So, who are we getting the Dokon attack with? I guess it makes sense to get it with uh, Blue Gogeta, because I can't get a lot of STR orbs here for the LR, so... Although, I think that's enough, right? I think, he, yeah, he gives himself three key, right? So, we should be good for this. And then... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. Because we get a little bit of damage mitigation. That'll keep the uh, go tanks in the final spot safe. And then we should get a full heal from this uh, Dokon attack once he's laid those hits in. Because we've got to be careful. If I hadn't healed, if he'd super attacked the go tanks at the end, it would be GG. So, makes sense to... Uh, drop a heal here because that's the thing you got to remember like the fusion team has some really top tier really powerful characters but if you start putting them on the team you put them in and you've still got like two or three slots that you got to fill and the fusion category i think is one of those ones where the units are either really top tier like good for difficult events or they're just not <laughs> Like, when the fusion team was first around, I used to use units like Pandel, who provides 30% attack support to all allies. But she has no defense. So if you bring her into this event, as soon as you get to, like, the midway point, like, when you get to Blue Goku, she's just going to get absolutely destroyed in every single phase. Um, and that's really not what you want. So <laughs> I thought physical Gotenks, at least with his easy A and the fact that he gets that extra defense, he would be okay. And of course, here we go getting super attacked. So even with an Icarus, there you go. Even with a Princess Snake active, we took 250k from a super. So uh, yeah, the item was definitely a good idea there. <laughs> uh, so let's do this just because I think they share some links. Yeah. So that's still not a bad link set to have active. I wish Fused Fire was at 10, but still pretty good. Um, and we'll let you get the W here because then we can use the active skill against Int UI Goku. So 35k pre-super. See, there you go. That's Once you get to UI Goku, that's when you start getting hit that little bit harder. Plus, of course, we've lost that extra 40% attack and defense from our passive, so our defense not as high. Um, but you see there, once you get that super attack off, his defense raises up to the point where he takes double digit damage. And then Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Yeah, he's taking double digits as well, which, again, for him being 55%, it's pretty good. So, I don't know if the Gotenks uh, and Ghost here is going to be powerful enough to get the KO. Yeah. All right, well, I guess it's up to our Gogeta rotation. Ooh, look at this. You know what it's like with these events. We might not get the chance to use it against in UI, so let's just go ahead and use it. Because if we don't get the chance to use it in the next phase, we won't get to see it. So. <sighs> yeah, 6.4 6 million. Yeah, okay. And then we get that nice little flick at the end. Let's go. All right, so now we go on to Int UI. Now we can go ahead and fire off the active skill here. Um, so let's do that first. Power up, the full monkey power. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll grab these, and then actually, I kind of want to save some physical orbs for the uh, 
Super Saiyan. Actually, no, Gogeta is not even on the next rotation, the LR. So we might as well just grab all of these. In fact, let's uh, let's give ourselves even more of a power boost since uh, Super Saiyan 4's Go Gogeta's extra part of his passive has run out at this point. So let's go ahead and power up even more because 4.7, pretty good. <laughs> So yeah, because we can't lower Goku's attack, so the active skill only buffing uh, Gogeta, so give him that extra little bit of a buff. That would have been such a great turn to get the double super with him as well, but get the crit, so we do a pretty decent amount of damage. And then even Gotenks here, 4.2 mil. Like, obviously Gotenks, you don't get to see him in Super Saiyan 3 a lot, it's only in these longer events that you're going to get to see it. But you can really see how crazy good he is once he gets to Super Saiyan 3. Like, 55% and he's hitting attack stats like that compared to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The difference, of course, is that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta not only does that on turn 1, <laughs> he does more on turn 1 because he gets more uh, attack and defense. Basically, Gogeta's passive will have run out pretty much by the time you get to transform Gotenks to Super Saiyan 3. So, it's uh, not quite comparable, but... Um, Alright, so we'll put you in slot 1 because we don't want you to take too many attacks here. And then we'll grab all these for you. And then that is a pretty solid amount of orbs for the Gotenks and Ghost as well. So they're going to have pretty decent defense. Plus we get the uh, HP back from all those rainbows. AGL Gogeta are obviously unable to dodge. Of course he dodges us though. 8 million. Alright. That's Gogeta of course with the uh, Bulma item in effect. But yeah, 8 million attack stat. And people say that the five-year fusions are bad. I mean, not bad, but, like, people say that they dropped off, like, immediately. And they're not, like, you know... Some people I've even said say they're not in, like, the top ten. <laughs> I mean, all right. Eight million attacks that from Gogeta. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So, go takes and Ghost. Fairly decent damage. But all I'm really interested in is the fact that he's taking double digits. So, that's fine. And then we're on to what I'm assuming will be the final turn. And look at this. Even though this is kind of all about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, let's, uh, let's let the physical Gogeta come in and uh, throw his weight around here. Because we're getting the full 24 key super attack. We got type advantage, so we don't need to worry about taking damage here. And uh, here we go. 4.8 million. I mean, mine is not very link leveled either, so that is not too bad for him. And what are we going to do damage wise? 3.6 million crit, pretty good. And that leaves the floor open for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to come in here and uh, say goodnight to Int UI Goku. So just under a million damage, but more than enough to take him out. And that is the uh, legendary Goku event beaten with the, uh, I say newest, but like the 2021 fusion team. Let's call it that. So. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I might even put that in the title. 2021 Fusion Team versus the Legendary Goku event. But yeah, pretty solid. Obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's really, really good in shorter events because of everything that he does from turn one. But as you can see, he still holds his own in the longer events. He doesn't hit as high an attack stat. But once he super attacks, all the way through the event, he was just taking double digit damage. So yeah, he's pretty nutty. <laughs> and uh, Gotenks, again, he was kind of a sleeper MVP. Like, he's a unit that I would love to get dupes for because uh, at 55%, he put in work. So let me know what you guys think. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Uh, feel free to check out the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.